This is a quick problem to review combustion analysis. In this problem, we have 21.56 grams of a compound which contain only carbon, hydrogen, and fluorine and yields 41.25 grams of carbon dioxide and 12.66 grams of water. And we're supposed to figure out the empirical formula of the compound. So the first thing you need to know is that all of the carbon that comes from the compound goes into the carbon dioxide. So if you have 41.25 grams of carbon dioxide, if you find out how much carbon is in the carbon dioxide, that's how much carbon is in your original sample. So as you can see above here, I have the 12.01 grams of carbon over 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide. Every time will be 0.2729. So you can always use that number right there. Then for hydrogen, Remember, there are two hydrogens in every water. 2.02 grams of hydrogen divided by 18.02 grams of water gives you 0.1121. Every time, that's the amount of hydrogen or the percentage of hydrogen in water. So now we can take those percentages and multiply them times the, carbon, the mass of carbon dioxide and the mass of water. Let's see. So 41.25 grams of CO2 times 0 0.2729 gives us 11.257 grams of carbon. And um, the significant figures aren't as important just yet. You want to wait till the very end to round. Then we have 12.66 grams of H2O times 0 0.1121, and that will be equal to 1.4191 grams of hydrogen. So now you have the mass of carbon and the mass of hydrogen. Your original sample contains 21.56 grams total. So you subtract the 11.257 grams of carbon and you subtract the 1.4191 grams of the hydrogen and that means we have 8.8839 grams of fluorine. Now that we have the mass of each of those, we can actually determine the number of moles which we can use to find the empirical formula. So, 11.257 grams of carbon divided by 12.01 grams per mole this is for the carbon, leaves us with 0 0.9373 moles of carbon. And the 1.4191 grams of hydrogen divided by 1.01 grams per mole of the hydrogen leaves us with 1.4050 moles of hydrogen. And finally, the 1.4191, oops, made a mistake, the 8.8839 grams of fluorine divided by 19 grams of per mole of fluorine this is with 0 0.46757 moles of fluorine now that we have those we take the largest one or actually we divide the two bigger ones by the smaller one so 0 0.9373 divided by, and that's the moles of carbon divided by 0 
6757 moles of fluorine is equal to approximately 2 over 1, 2 moles of carbon to 1 mole of fluorine. And the 1.4050 moles of hydrogen over the 0 0.4675 7 moles of fluorine is approximately equal to 3 to 1 of hydrogen over fluorine. So, we have 1 fluorine, 2 carbon, and 3 hydrogen. C2H3F. That's the answer. And if we go back up to the top, oops, You can see that that is the answer right there. All right. Please let me know if you have any other further questions.